mennä. Lead the way. Okay, what is it? We're freestyling, yeah? This mm. The game. Let's see. When I think of meeting Allah, I feel you finish. Oh, when I think of meeting Allah, I think about the blessing of just being in the presence of Allah. Okay, one of Allah's names is the subtle. Do you remember the moment that shaped your life as you know it? Yeah, yeah, it would be taking my shahada, shaping my life as I know it now. I remember it very clearly. Ramadan in Yasin's house in his front room. I remember very clearly. There's a few other brothers, not I think a couple of brothers there now, not with us anymore. Rahim and Allah. Rahim Allah subhanahu Yeah, I remember clear. Time's ticking. Time's ticking. Up. How can I help? Stay Muslim. Inshallah. So. What do you think the hardest part of my childhood was? Your childhood? Mm. Ah, it's, it's like mine growing up a non-Muslim, man. <laughs> yeah. Are you a defensive person? Defensive? I think I defend that what's important to, to me. People who don't have a voice, I defend that. I defend the community that I'm from, Muslim, the black community. I defend um, the truth, you know, you know, the right of us being able to be Muslims and to worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the current climate that we live in as you see the you know people are defending different aspects of life today so I think it's very important that we defend those people who don't have a voice and also defend you know what yeah, makes us today compass. You know, yeah, yeah our moral compass and stuff like that okay tell me something about mom that you didn't appreciate until you became older your mom that is support being a Muslim mm. That was important because I know a lot of people got a lot of kickback from their family and handling yeah, yeah. that wasn't and I wasn't someone that was affected by that. So I think stuff like that. So it was an initial shock, but then two weeks later you're buying halal food for the house, so it's a it's a big difference, do you know what I mean? Tell me something about your father that you didn't appreciate until you became older. Um nothing really because it's never really been a relationship to take anything from, but I appreciate the fact that it's made me want to be around my children more with his absence. So I guess, yeah, something to be thankful for, alhamdulillah. Yeah, I'll be the same. Yeah. What does patience mean to you? What does patience mean to me? Patience means to me being able to have self-control with things that you find difficult. Mm -hmm. That's patience to me. I feel like it's very easy to be patient with things that it's not an issue to you. It's yeah. like, I give you a hundred pound, but I've got lots of money. You Just can come back and yeah, yeah. it's not a problem if you, whenever you bring it back. I give you a hundred pound and that's all I got. And being able to have patience in that difficult moment, knowing that I need that money back as soon as you can bring it, but I'm able to kind of deal with it in a manner that, um, that you know what I mean? That acquires me to be patient in terms of how I deal with you and how I expect it to come back. So for me, patience is being able to have self-control. When was the last time you faced a fear? How did you feel afterwards? Since becoming Muslim, my f things that I'm, I'm fearful of are, so are very, like, they're, they're not a lot. So my fears is about not dying a Muslim, um, your loved ones not accepting Islam. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So a lot of the time, example, if I think about my dad dying and I think about him not dying a Muslim, those things you're fearful for your existing families because uh, it wasn't easy for us to embrace Islam, but we still embraced it. Mm. And that was something to do with our characters and obviously our last family tell us guidance. But yeah, man, the, the fears are always about my loved ones who are not Muslim dying. Uh, it's not easy. Yeah, you end up with survivor's so. guilt as well. Yeah, yeah. Is it you, I guess? You? Yeah. What's your best memory with me? One of the best ones, I think, is when we gave Ski Shahad and Woody Rose. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was good because I remember Ski wanted to become Muslim. And obviously, we all come from the same end, Rawley and that. And I remember we called the brothers and you came down and you gave uh, Ski Shahad. Ask me anything, I promise to be vulnerable. Mm. All right, guy in jail. How was it the first night in jail? 
Yeah, it's rough. I know how my first night was. How was you know that you're Do you know, I, wallahi, uh, for me, obviously I've been Muslim for a little while and this is something that came up from before Islam and came back to haunt me, but I wasn't, I think because it had been going on so long, obviously I'd been on the run and stuff like that for almost a year. And um, by the time I got caught, it was a relief, like, wallahi, because mm. it was just like, I'm either going to sit down for a long time or I'm not. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just like, I can breathe. I, I kind of had some clarity about where I'm going. Because even being Muslim at that time, it was limited of what I could do, mm. where I could go. I couldn't go to my mum's and all of that stuff, it takes an effect in it. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, the worst part about it is knowing that like, my daughter was going to be born while I was in there. So yeah, yeah I think that was, that was the overthinking part, but it wasn't, wasn't some shock horror thing. And I think that's, that's even part of just the way we grew up, seeing so many people in and out of jail, family mm -hmm. members and interactions with police from young, it kind of not mentally prepares you, but you kind of got... It's sad that we're, yeah, we're that's actually you get prepared what I mean. for it. What do you know about yourself now that you didn't know when you were younger? Like being Muslim, obviously. Mm. Being married, um, being alive, alhamdulillah. Mm. <laughs> that's uh, well, like, that's one of the biggest things. I don't know if it's, yeah, we know if it's just me, but yeah, I know. Or something like that. Yeah, not even just that. I think um, yeah, just a lot of us growing up, you don't have an image of yourself being older yeah. because you're just living 100 miles per hour and it's, it's not like you're living it towards any meaningful end, if that makes sense. 100%. All right, when was the last time you spoke from your heart to Allah? What motivated it? Boy, this morning, mate, sajda. Mm. Um, and that's just, I feel like um, the conversations with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are uh, um, our opportunities to stay connected is that portal between you and your Lord so every opportunity I get I take it it doesn't have to be deep it could be anything what is weighing heavy on your heart right now um, just hoping that we get to where we want to go with Riso and Charlotte and just inspire the kids and, and, and everyone else along the way because that's for me it's not just about making it a success for us because mm. it's, it's about if your kids one of us pass tomorrow what, what, what are we leaving them behind and I don't just mean money and all of yeah, that yeah. stuff because that goes as quick as it comes we've been broke we could be broke tomorrow be rich again the next week yeah, yeah. that's nothing but what you're actually leaving behind for them to look at and say okay they were trying to achieve X, Y and Z here yeah. still in the community and it's easy loads of, lo loads of us can just move out and start fresh and whatever but trying to keep some sort of connection because me bringing my kids back around there yeah, where my mum is, that's, I've grew there, my mum grew there, they've grew there. It's like four generations deep now. How could you be better with your finances? Because we had so much so young, some of the things that we find our peers going crazy over. It's yeah, like, we had that really, at 16. Yeah, stuff. like Some we was in deal. Iron Apple at 16, 17. We'd done the rap thing, um, money thing. So, yeah, a lot of these things don't, really um they don't really they don't have they don't have the same mystery anymore finance, do they yeah. and i feel like i have much less finance than i did when i was on the roads mm. so but my finance stretches much more so i feel like i'm like the money that i'm living off now i never lessons. would have lived off that before yeah. back in the day we would have spent that on on a night out or something and then the, the outfit to go there is about a bag yeah. so it's like nuts it's it. so yeah i just feel like my finances are quite good to be honest i'm not gonna lie Thanks guys. No problem man, it's it's right. no problem. It's right.